patients. I think this is an all overall brief that you need to write your KYC ML procedures. You should carry out your in-house in-house risk assessment around money laundering that or terrorist financing. You will say that they are this is these are my four clients which are in Uddampur. These are my four clients which are in, in Arunachal Pradesh. They are very sensitive because they are you know from geographical geographical point of view they are very close to the borders. So that kind of assessment you need to do. Other type of assessment you need to do that, that high level transaction clients that or high level assignments you have. So you carry out that internal mechanism that this is my over, overall assess, assessment and you, you can uh, present it to any person or any enforcement agency before they ask any information. Like information they will ask that yes, recently, like this is an example. So, so Sara case happened. So at the time of Sara case, so, uh, so many cases, uh, so many information is asked from the banks. So many uh, information asked from the NBFCs because Sara has taken a lot of loans. So loans are provided, loans, loans advisory is always provided by the practicing professionals. So be doubly sure that whenever they come, they will, so you can say that these are the client, uh, client uh, customers due diligence uh, I have carried out and these are the documents. These are my own in-house risk assessment I have done. These are my categories of the customers. These are high risk customer. This is a medium risk customer. There is a low risk customer. And then you are keeping the records and then even uh, you, on monthly basis, you are re reviewing the suspicious transaction or alerts within the practicing form. Then there will be a reporting and there will be training. Even a lot of time happens is that practicing professional know being a proprietor, being a designated director, being a company, uh, being a director, but they never pass on PML information to the supporting uh, staff members. Like uh, there will be a lot of accountants, there will be uh, legal, paralegals. So the, you need to educate them also. So in past also, I have uh, conducted several training, AML training session in NBFCs, in uh, other financial institutions. So this is an expected like post we are providing training. So similarly, AML training should be provided to the all the practicing professionals forms. I mentioned that I have also linked here these you know, current regulator guidelines. If an NBFC working under the regulatory framework of RBI, so they came out with the guidelines. So similarly, SEBI intermediaries, stock exchanges, they need to follow SEBI. Inter insurance intermediaries, then they will follow IRDA requirements. So similarly, institutes will also come with their own guidelines and FAQs. Welcome to Complinity Technologies. Complinity is India's leading governance, risk and compliance software helping companies to manage their compliance, contracts, litigation, legal updates, inter-financial controls and more. Complinity is a one-stop shop for all GRC needs. With our proprietary 12 GRC modules and real-time legal updates on 2000 plus laws and 24,000 plus compliances. All in an integrated platform that is easy to use with automated alerts and risk management capabilities. Is why compliance managers, general counsels and chief financial officers choose Complinity every time. Join the most innovative and prestigious brands that use Complinity. Automating your compliance management, request a demo at Complinity.com.